India was stabilized. No Khalistan, no GNLF, no Assam terrorist now, no Nagaland Kalaba radical, you know, Nagaland terrorist, no Mega, uh, Meghalaya Naxalite now, no Tribura Naxalite, no Rayalasima Naxalite, no anti-Hindi agitation in this motherland. So in, in Tamil Nadu, there is no anti-Hindi agitation. No Kaveri problem between Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. Sometimes it comes, then Adal Bihari Vajpayee calls you, come here. You know, <laughs> and Adal Bihari Vajpayee starts talking. When he starts talking, first sentence he will tell. Before telling the next sentence, you have got enough interval for taking a tea. <laughs> and after that, you will be chitat. Then Jairadha will say, we are very happy. Krishna will say, we are also happy. Is happy. Only Prime Minister called, gave them two cup of tea. And you give some water to that lady. That water is flowing here. Because no problem. Kaveri water is. So we have decided to give 15,000 CWT water to Tamil Nadu. That is, you know, who knows what is CWT? <laughs> Nobody knows what is CWT. Krishna informs the engineer, give water to Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu is getting water, that problem is solved. That foreign exchange reserve. Highest 15 billion dollars yesterday evening in India. 15 billion dollars. Many people said about two, three years ago that India is in the duct tract and something. Nothing. India will not die. If India would have been died, 13 centuries of foreign invasion, India did not die. Right from Omar Abdullah, Muhammad bin Qasim, from 600. And nobody can kill India. You know, last two weeks ago, our Bush, not the other Bush, Prime Minister, I mean the President of America, he told India, send people, military to uh, Iraq. Indian said, we are not going to send. <laughs> Then he warned, you have to send. India said, we are not going to send. <laughs> then he said, we hope that after two months you will send. <laughs> That's why we will send. So, you cannot bend bow down in India. Many things you can see. We are following our own method. North Korea is making atom bomb. America has decided to bomb even North Korea. But India exploded 10 bombs. America did not say anything. America said, we will not give you cryogenic engine. Within eight months, APJ Abdul Kalam and Patmanabhan made cryogenic engine 13 numbers. For three months ago, India could put German satellite in the space. German satellite, India launched from Indian soil. And Indian achievement, I'm not exaggerating, just want to tell you that, the beloved children of India, whatever positive things in India we have got, we are the most democratic. You have got full freedom to say against India and to say supporting India. Nobody will hold your neck. And that much freedom we have got. You can scold, you can say angry words, can say anything. But our motherland, I request you, further we should not allow the tears from our motherland. A glorious land which could survive on the surface of the globe yet for the last 10,000 years. 10,000 divided by 20, 500 generations according to the archaeological evidence from Kali Bangan, Bhagwan Puran, Mahargar. So that land we got our birth. I always pray. And I am not a Malayali. I am from Karnataka. Born and brought up in Kerala. Married from Tamil Nadu. Took my degree from Andhra. Worked in Maharashtra. And rounding like this. Now in Toronto I am working. If 10 more Janmas I have got, I want it to be in India itself. Because this is a With these words, I am sure that many questions will be there. My only mission is 
learning and teaching our heritage scientifically. So many superstitions are there in India. Learn, analyze with the help of science, eradicate all those superstitions. We can change India within days. Keep the date August 15, 2007 in your mind. 2007, August 15th is the Shastyabdha Purti of our motherland. 60th Independence Day, Shasti Purti. Before that, we should learn our heritage. We should teach our heritage. Create a feeling of pride, self-confidence as Indian. Spread the message world over. We are Indians. We will be Indians. Thank you very much. Thank you. A person called Madhava from Kerala who is said to have discovered gravity, which a book had been taken and given to Newton, from which he is supposed to have developed his theory. Somebody said that you have written such a thing in a book. And Madhavacharya has got nothing to do Ma with the gravity. Ma a person by the name Madhava. Yeah. Did you happen to write uh, anything like that in the book? No. That he was the source of the theory of gravity. Now many people started saying that since Madhavacharya's theories are coming, six theorems, not theories, theorems are coming as uh, Newton's theorems in the same order. Some say that Madhava's books or information was taken by, but I don't know that, I have not written like that. Gravity is coming to Bhaskaracharya, not Madhavacharya. No, because I understand that some, there is some source that Newton found in his library uh, taken from this country. I see. So I, this last week I read about it. Somebody said this and mentioned in con your name and context with that. No. Uh, we were discussing different things on the subject. Yeah. Anyway, Madhavacharya has got nothing to do with gravity. None of the, uh, none of the things he has mentioned, Madhavacharya, he has gone through the perfectly on the mathematics side. But all the books available in some of the libraries, I have compiled it. That the book is available outside. Thank yeah. you. Mention uh, proof. Uh, proofs. Uh, majority of the theorems are given in the commentaries. Say, for example, Aryabhata's theorem. Just after Aryabhata, Bhaskaracharya 1 in Lagu Bhaskariya, Mahabhaskariya, plus commentary to Aryabhatiya, one of the best book. Bhaskara Bhashyam to Aryabhatiya. That he has given the proof for that. Every book, Brahmasputa Siddhantam, Gandakadhya is the commentary where proof is given. And Lilavati Bhashyam, 12 commentaries are written for Lilavati where proof is given. Just after. Very good question. Yeah. Uh, that book is full of numbers. Yeah. Uh, do you have any idea what it could be? Is it, has it got something to do with the biological sciences? And uh, my knowledge. Uh, from very uh, preliminary, cursory understanding of it, it could mean a lot of uh, uh, biological science and <coughs> numbers. Do you have any idea about that? No, sir. But uh, many books, when they are written, the Kadabayadi numbers, this book and the other I have not heard, but you might have heard about Narayaniyam, written by Nilpathur there in in Kerala, that line is ending with Ayur Arogya Saukhyam Krishna, where Ayur Arogya Saukhyam is 17,21,210. That number stands for 17 lakh. This number is, he has completed writing the Narayaniyam after 17,21,210 days the starting point of Kali Yuga. Kali Yuga is started during 3102 BC, February 17, Thursday, midnight, 11.55. Kali Yuga starting point. 3102, February 17, Thursday, midnight, 11.55. All the planets came in the same line, including Moon, Sun, Earth, Mars, etc. 
So, Ayur Arogya Saukya is connected with the number. I just wanted to convey you that much. Maybe, yeah, surely, sir. That's good. Yeah, sure. Parts are there for Jyotisha. For our convenience sake, I'm telling. One, pure mathematics. Where all the theorems, latitude, longitude, everything is taken. Second, pure astronomy. Rotation, revolution of all planets and other things taken. So, pure astronomy is science. Pure mathematics is science. The third one is prediction part. The best thing, I always used to say, whenever you have got enough time, I am sure for IIT students you will not have enough time. If you have got some time for spending leisurely, you can see that. If Mars is there in your lagnam, in your lagina, if Mars is there, you need extra chapati, sure. <laughs> and you cannot sit in your seat for more than two hours. You will always jump up or be very active. And if Mars is there in the second line, second bhava, your words will be so sharp. After hearing that, you have to take a bath. The other fellow will have to take a bath. And if the second bhava has got Saturn, then that fellow will be talking, I am very well aware about the whole thing. Immediately you can say second bhava is Saturn. So just I wanted to convey you, if second Baba has got Rahu, then he will say, I want to tell you that it is not possible. Rahu is in second Baba. So like this, I am giving just example only. And suppose second Baba you have got uh, Shukra, Venus. And then he will say, I will definitely come to you. No problem. I will come to you. So happy for me to come to you. Like this, since he asked the question, Jyotisha can be used if you want to use. Don't use it as a superstition. Be careful. And it can be used the best method for personality evaluation. And you know, if seventh bhava is in your lagna, your wife will be always with you. <laughs> and the lagna dhivadi is with the seventh bhava. You will be always in wife's house. <laughs> you will not be anywhere else. And if you are like Nadi is in sixth position, always you will have chest pain. No doubt about it. You need not go to the hospital and take ECG. Because chest pain is because of hypersidity. So like this, so many things you can. Whenever you are entering for an interview board, if your legnam is, uh, is Mars, take, inform your body, don't get shout. Don't shout. Be careful. Control yourself. Inform yourself. And once the interview is over, come outside and shout to anybody else. <laughs> Not inside. So, you can evaluate by yourself. I use it for that. Very fortunately, I could spend about five, six years for that because I know wherever I go, this question will come. That is why I spend something for that. It can be used for that. And similarly, for marriage, if you are going for a, a girl or a boy or something like that, look into that one. Where is the Saturn? Where is the Mars? If second portion is the Mars, very careful. If she talks for one minute, it is enough for you for one, one month. But the discussion is not required. But sharp it will be. So if you can tolerate that, go ahead with the marriage. If you cannot tolerate, take another alternate. It's about the clues. Don't worry. Don't use it as a superstition. Keep yourself a limit. Nothing should be superstition.